I know I look crazy. I actually, I feel like, hold up. I feel like a real senora right now. Like I look like a comadre. I look like a Maria Jesus or like Maria de la Luz. What's like a really popular Mexican name for a girl? It's Maria. It's it's Maria. Uh, Maria Veronica. Maria Alma. Maria Esmeralda. I look like one of those. You know what I mean? I literally look like one of my tias right now. By the way, I have a tia named Esmeralda, Alma, and Veronica. Hey! I got a PR package from Believe, hence the title, and we're gonna play with a lot of makeup right now. I know what you guys are thinking. Gloria, you fucked up on them brows. Why didn't you bring your concealer all the way down? Well, ma'am. When I was doing my brows, I forgot that Believe Beauty actually dropped like 50 new products. They sent me, I believe, all of them, if not most of them. And one of those new products is a concealer of eyeballs. And I really wanted to test it out. They sent me two, actually. This is the brand new Believe Beauty Lock It Down eyeshadow primers. One is white, one is like beige. I don't know, actually. This one is universal and this one is translucent. What is even the difference? So this one is translucent. No, universal. Wait, what are you? Translucent. Yeah, this one's translucent. I'm gonna go in with the universal shade. Yeah, see? This is why I didn't want to do that whole concealer thing because I wanted to use one with like a base color. Yeah, we're gonna be playing with a lot of new Believe Beauty things and it's gonna be a great time. This video is not sponsored, but I am gonna be very transparent with you guys because I like being very transparent when it comes to business stuff. I know I'm not the most transparent person when it comes to my personal life, but that's because I'm a private person and I just prefer my life that way, okay? I was in talks with Believe about doing a sponsored video and it was gonna be on these products. But I love Believe Beauty so much and the first video I ever did of theirs was not sponsored. A few videos even after that weren't and then I did get in contact with Dollar General or better yet, Dollar General got in contact with me and I did a sponsored video for them. This video is not sponsored. It was supposed to be sponsored but I don't want you guys to think that it was because what ended up happening with everything that's going on in the world with the concern over the... I feel weird saying it out loud. I don't know why. It sounds like so forbidden. To say it but with everything that's going on with the coronavirus they just didn't feel safe going through with a campaign and i totally get it so i just i don't know i feel like i should let you guys know like this was supposed to be a sponsored video but it's not a sponsored video guys i'm not getting paid for this i genuinely love believe beauty i find that their products are such good quality for the price and i know you guys have really been enjoying them so there's no way i'm going to keep like tight-lipped about these products but i don't want you guys to think that this seems shady because i have worked with them in the past and this one isn't sponsored it was supposed to be but it's not just being transparent sees guys this primer it did a pretty good job i mean it really did cancel out my veins and stuff she feels tacky as well for my eyeshadow look however i'm really intrigued by these so these are the new by the way i actually have played with some of these before already i've played with some of these products like twice already just for your information i did use the believe beauty foundation which you guys know i love and this is new this is the believe beauty radiantly primed primer this one is really good as well i'll and try to insert a clip of me applying this but it's really good i use it with my nivea face primer there's a couple of body glows now going on which i don't have the outfit for but i'll try to use it here and there and a couple of new products and brushes we got brushes we got a brand new eyeshadow palette this one is the love struck palette which i'm pretty sure is new i'm gonna go ahead and grab this eyeshadow which isn't the best transition shade but it's the only one i have anyways we're gonna try and do an eye look with all of these products let's totally listen to kendrick lamar though i got
Okay, I went ahead and just lined my lips real quick. I just used this Koki lip liner. I forgot what, Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose Koki lip liner. They didn't release any new lip options that I know of, but these lip glosses. And this one is so pretty. I've worn it before. This one is called Prim and Proper. It's their Lustrous Shine lip gloss. And you guys, I mean the color itself. It's like a dainty bubblegum pink. It does have that blue undertone, which does make your teeth look super white. But it's honestly, it's just such a pretty lip gloss. Like as you can see, she's got some pink to her but not a lot and not like an overwhelming amount i thought it was a really pretty good color one other product that i really wanted to test out that i've already tested out actually i don't know why i'm saying that i'm just telling you guys i've tested this out already and a bitch was nervous trying this out but i've really been trying to get into more cream blushes because at the end of the day cream blushes do look more natural and they really are super pretty it's just hard to work with them and believe beauty actually released two so this is the first one in doll face so this is one of their cream blushes and then they released this one which is tropical sunset which is an orange blush which is the blush i'm gonna use today this makeup could go so bad right now what i've learned is i have to like warm up the product and i have to set the powder down with the liquid so i actually already set my face with this and set down a lot of the powder i'm gonna go ahead and just do that one more time because cream grabbing onto powder is not always the best thing but cream gliding onto something Something that's a little bit damp it might work a little bit more i also like to kind of dab it out on my hand a little bit before and then i go in to the cheek for some reason this finger just works the best yeah literally every time i apply cream blush i'm like why did i just do that in my mind i'm like i f big time they have a new blush brush actually so this is the angle blush brush from believe beauty again this is one of their newer products i have not used any of their brushes before i have two more and one more that i'm going to use she is soft see in my mind i'm like why did i just do that and i applied way too much on this side see my blush looks way better on this side than this side but we're gonna pretend that we don't look too crazy over here and you guys know me i like to drape my blush i look like a cabbage patch kid oh my god i'm just not good with cream blush but i want to get better one of these days though i'm going to be like a queen at cream blush and you guys are going to watch these videos and be like oh my god this is what she was just learning and we went through that journey with her and now the bitch is bad at cream blush but like bad in a good way okay yeah putting that out into the universe and i like to apply a blush a little bit on my nose because i feel like it just does a real natural like little flush to the skin and i really like it i'm gonna go ahead and set this down and then we're gonna apply some highlight i actually do gotta uh highlight my inner corner real quick and for that i'm gonna use this new not this one i don't have anything to use this angle brush for i don't want to do liner today i'm gonna use this eyeshadow smudge brush this is a new eyeshadow brush from believe and i'm gonna use this i'm gonna go into my little jcat triple baked eyeshadow these are eyeshadows but i've always used this to highlight because it's the most gorgeous highlight i promise you and then we're gonna pop on some of this kim kardashian dank So the blush kind of calmed down a little bit. It's been about an hour and a half. Oh, I really want to show you guys the body glow stuff, which I know I don't have the outfit for it today of all days, but I still kind of want to show you guys because I'm curious. So this is the Believe Beauty All Over Glow Skin Illuminator. They actually gave me two and I probably shouldn't be using this one because I know I'm brown, but at this moment in my life, quarantine life, what's good she's pale not like pale pale but like she's a brown pale and i know all my brown girls out there can agree sometimes us brown girls get pale okay guys this one this one is in the shade forbidden kiss oof oof mm, get money oh i got some of the blush on there this blush is like herbians oh it does give your skin some glow that's actually really pretty i love Believe beauty but let's go ahead and touch on some things that i don't like about this collection uh that they just released first of all the blush love use a little bit though don't do what i did okay because even though like she doesn't look crazy right now pull my hair back and bitch she looks crazy also how did i get blush up here can you not also the eyeshadow let me scoot you guys in you guys the eyeshadow creased 
so bad and honestly applying that eyeshadow i don't know if you guys could can you stop beeping ma'am can you not also i don't know if you guys could tell in the video but i was having a hard time applying this eyeshadow period like it wouldn't build up and now it's super creasing and it's gross and i don't like that the lip gloss can we talk about how this lip gloss though made me look like my lips are like three times bigger than they actually are so this is the blush up close she's really pretty i really like it the brushes i really like i think the blush brush is gonna be such a hit the lip gloss i love the blushes i really do like again just be very careful with them because the colors are really pretty and they are easy to blend out just don't apply a lot sparingly the primers i love i think i'm going to be a fan of the body glows once summer comes around and if we're allowed to go outside which we don't know quite yet and the eyeshadow primers i don't know i think i'd have to mess with those a little bit as well too because they could be something that didn't really fit well with the cream eyeshadows i don't know guys we will test all that out but for now i really want to thank believe for sending me this pr package Thank you so much, Believe. This video is not sponsored. I really just like to share makeup with you guys that I know that I believe in is good and is so worth your money and is so affordable. And I would say that is so near you, but please stay at home. And if you guys are really curious about these products, go ahead and order them online. Although I believe some of them aren't available, but when they finally let us go out, because everything's gonna be okay, guys, okay? I talked to God and she said we're good. You guys can go ahead and check all these products out. I think by that time they might be releasing more. Stay safe out there. I love you all.